What's up, everybody? We got a sweet new intro done by uh, Melancholy Giraffe. Uh, if you guys are any animators, illustrators, and want to do a sweet intro for us, just let us know, and you could do it, and you could be featured on this channel right now. Yeah. Exciting Woo! stuff. Because Check it out. Hopefully, you like it. Leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. People have been awesome. dreaming of this ah. all along. Welcome, everybody, to episode 14 of Flavorful Reviews. Look at that, guys. 14 episodes. You did it. That's We've, a lot. Uh, anything special happened in 14? Nothing. Uh, Nothing you uh, I'm growing I hair. Swear. I'm growing hair where hair doesn't I'm grow I'm losing before. hair where hair used to be. <laughs> yes, let's yeah. talk about this. Did you go Dweeb Cuts? I went to Dweeb Cuts chain shop up here. Oh, sweet, <laughs> sweet. It's, uh, you know, reasonably priced haircuts. <laughs> nice. How was that? Was that good? Uh, How does it feel? Uh, there's a lot of wind everywhere. It's <laughs> a little odd. A lot of wind. Feels good. Feels cool. good. Don't say we don't do anything for you guys. I read every comment and I take them all into consideration. Yeah, so Logan Runner six 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 ninety four. Load Runner. That was a great. I game. don't know. Fucking Smoke Wizard. <laughs> Bong <laughs> Wizard four twenty. Yeah, Bong Maniac four twenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. I don't know. Anyways, on Book. to the books. <laughs> so uh, this week we're going to continue on the fifty twos. Uh, we got, what do we got? Red Lantern. Red Lantern. Ooh. Number one. This book, uh, did the Red Lantern start with the Green Lantern? Yeah. War? Yeah, with the Black Essentially thing. with the whole War Ooh. of Light, that's yeah. where they were doing from. So Red Lanterns are just, they're mad as shit. They're just angry, angry people. Yeah. And Running on hate. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. And like yeah. their hearts are made of napalm and Which stuff. Which is pretty cool. I mean, but it's fucking badass. I wish I could say like um, Your the opening. <laughs> yes, that too. <laughs> I'd be vomiting all over the place. <laughs> People that didn't know. Anyway, I wish I could say that, like, um, the introduction and sort of uh, the going into the origins of Red Lanterns was more complex than what was in the book, but that's pretty much it. Guys, Space Sector got killed, made, uh, made Red Lantern, shit, yeah. and then uh, yeah. Red Lanterns, boom. So yeah. basically, it starts off with uh, the cat Dexter. Dexter! He's floating around space, and then he sees some people, and he's just like, ah! And he just claws her eyes. They search out skull injustice. Off. It's just yeah. fucking awesome. And I mean, uh, he's just spitting napalm as he goes. Cool. It's pretty awesome. This whole thing kind of reminds me of like classic Lobo stories. From yeah, the you were saying that. Where he just kind of just drives around, kicking ass in space. It's not I mean, a bad thing. It's not bad at all. I well, the Lobo. bad thing was this was a little boring to me. What? Anyways, I don't know. It was... It was just based on him, like, yeah, becoming the Red Lantern, Atrocitus. You know, that's a great name for uh, (laughs) someone based on hate. (laughs) But, like, the whole progression of it and how he became a Red Lantern, I just kind of found boring. And then the other... Oh, if you had an ugly son like that... Yeah, I would be pretty pissed off. (laughs) Was that a son? I thought it was a daughter. What? Whoa! That was his daughter? (laughs) I don't know, man. Uh, You guys in the comments, tell me what you think of this kid. Yeah. Fucking ugly-ass kid. Man, look at him. Uh... Fucking put a mullet on him? Done. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> You're the worst kid ever made. Uh, oh, jeez. I don't know. And then he's got this love thing going on with No, Crona. that was really cool. So I, Crona, the mad uh, guardian, yeah. he goes up to his dead body that he just like, keeps, and he's like, we are married. We're I, pretty much lovers in hate. Uh, I love that. I thought yeah. that was awesome. Like, the whole point of how he created the Red Lanterns was to get vengeance on this guy. I know, and but... And it was awesome. It was so he was like, yeah, they are married. And now without <laughs> him, he's just like, well, yeah. fuck, I don't know what I'm doing awesome. anymore. And then he's like, you cheated on me with the Green, with yeah. the green Lantern. Well, yeah. Fucking Hal Jordan. Our marriage of blood is over. Hal Jordan's fucking home record, man. That's true. true. Fucking, what a dick. <laughs> I, I kind of like how his feelings and like were kind of foreshadowed at the beginning with that guy who's like torturing that person. Yeah, that so cool. like, man, this doesn't do it for me anymore. And then later... later the Red Lantern's like, man, Ray's just doesn't do it for me anymore. Yeah. You know you know what? I hope this kind of becomes like Nightmare Before Christmas where he's like, I got to do something else. <laughs> and then he like tries to like, I don't know, do I Christmas. He, he tries that. to be a blue lantern yeah, but just ends up killing everyone. <laughs> yeah, anyway. he kills everybody. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. That'd be cool. uh, yeah. I would read that then. Peter, I like his squad. I like the Red Lantern squad. Peter Milligan. Let's get on this. 
Nightmare uh, Before Red Lantern. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we said who wrote it. Peter Milligan. Peter Ed, Mulligan, uh, Ed yeah. Bennis. Ed Beans. So Ed Beans. Beans. Anyways, moving on to uh, a new number one, the Ultimates number one. That finally came out. Yeah, Spider-Man. Oh, written by uh, BMB, Brad Michael My boy. Bruce. I love BMB yeah, and, and everything uh, he writes. And drawn read. by uh, Sarah Pacelli. Which is, so since you've been following this whole Ultimate Spider-Man stuff, how do you like it? I, I mean, it's an origin. It's based 11 months before the events of uh, where we currently are with Miles Morales mm-hmm. and how he got his spider powers. And I don't know, like it, it could have buns kind of thing a little boring. But I don't know, like mm-hmm. I'll read anything Brian Michael Bendis does, and I'm wow. entertained. <laughs> I don't know why, but it that's how it goes. Strange. He's I a way of like that. Sorry, Norman ahead. Osborn is sort of the creator of Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. yeah. That was cool. He's like, yo, I did it. Um, so basically, Miles it's, follows Miles, Miles Morales, Morales. Ah. trying to get into a school. It's like a prestigious yeah, school. charter school. And then uh, talks about him going going living in the city. He fucking talks to Snoop Dogg all day. <laughs> yeah, his <laughs> uncle Snoop yeah. Dogg. <laughs> It looks exactly like Snoop Dogg. I'm like, I think Marvel, when it comes to black characters, they're like, we need someone famous. Yeah. And then they're like, okay, uh, Morgan, Morgan Freeman, Freeman. <laughs> and Snoop Dogg. And Snoop Dogg is also Deadpool in this book. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't he, know. He's I not know, Deadpool. I know, but, joking, but he's like a... The costume kind of yeah, He's like a thief who goes around stealing shit. And he just so happens to steal a spider. He's going to get spider. bitten by a radioactive crazy man yeah. and become Deadpool. Um, now, so the, okay, the ending is a little strange. We're going to spoil it because, I mean, whatever. You're going to read it. Yeah. And it's not even really an ending. So, yeah. like, Spider-Man, Miles Morales starts turning invisible. And I was Apparently like... Apparently that's a part of his super soldier uh, spider. <laughs> what? That, he's invisible? I so, is, yeah. like... Are Yo, they got to differentiate from what Peter is Parker Is his clothes going to turn invisible, too? Like, is he going to have to, like, fly around naked? I guess. I don't know. Well, his clothes were kind of invisible there, so I oh, guess... Oh, yeah, that's be. true, yeah. So, uh, apparently, his invisibility affects his clothes as well. Do you guys think... uh bounces light know. off of him. They were showing a bunch of spider yes. numbers. Do you think one of them was a reference to Hitchhiker's Guide? It was number <laughs> yeah, 42. 42, 42 yeah. Yeah. They answered everything in the universe. That's how they're getting away with this. Like, hey, maybe. What maybe. you were saying earlier with the sort of... This invisible power meaning it's going to be a differentiation of the Spider-Man from the yellow one. I kind of actually didn't like that. No? Or like that idea. I kind of like the idea of superheroes when they lose their mantle, when they like die. A new one comes to take it up. And, and you just get different. to see how they deal with being this character, being the new Spider-Man. I'm not saying I specifically like it. I just understand it. I mean, this is a new batch, I guess, of the serum. It's after Peter Parker, so fucking B and B does what he wants, man. Mm-hmm. And you're a scientist. You prick. You do. Uh, you have other test variables. You add new stuff. That's in. true. I really hope they introduce new Spider-Man with different numbers of the <laughs> spiders. That'd be cool. See, like Spider Six Six Six. Fucking. He's just like. <laughs> anyway. Hey, anybody have anything else to say about no, uh, this new Spider-Man? No. This one is pretty good. I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes. It's an origin it story. It uh, I'm kind of waiting to see when he actually starts go beating up people. Yeah. That's what I'm waiting when for. When he figures out he can <laughs> actually, he has some strumpf. All right. So the next one is uh, one of my favorite books from before, uh, Batwoman. Batwoman. Batwoman written and drawn by uh, J.H. Williams the Third, who... And uh, how many people around yeah. these days that still have and sort of also co written by Hayden Blackman? So, W Hayden Blackman, yeah. uh, W stands for uh, whoa, <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so this book, I mean, if you followed any of the Batwoman before, it's pretty much the same, more of the same. Yep, uh, Batwoman pretty much follows still from you. Amazing yeah. art, she's still uh, kicking ass, taking names. I, agree. I really love the art in this book because it's Williams really knows how to do. You know, pretty simplistic drawings at times when it's necessary, yeah, and then like adding side of the Batwoman stuff. Yeah, it's all like normal. It's all yeah, mm-hmm. and then you, you know, add in the shadows when you need it, and certain, and even the coloring is amazing. This book, that's something mm, that doesn't get yeah, props all the time. That glossy look, is yeah, just delicious. I don't know, I yeah. love it. And the story is kind of cool because there's a what is it, the Weeping Widow? Yeah, it's pretty just cool. eating up children yeah, essentially, just like terrorizing. Uh, old Mexican people. Yeah. And they're like, Dios mio, no. <laughs> oh, no. And then she like cries into their mouth to drown him, which is awesome. Which is I always cool. loved uh, his work with paneling. Yes. With, like, There's this mm-hmm. one part where it's sort of like a double spread uh, thing. With the skeleton in the middle? Actually, I was referring to the sort of almost flashback part. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so it's like uh, Cassandra Kane, I think this one was called. Yeah, I think so. And she's just... Ex- 
essentially um, saying everything that happened in Eulogy mm-hmm. and sort of the situation now. But on the front end, or the top and the bottom, it's actually showing like a sort of streamlined event yeah. of the what happened before, but without actually like interrupting what's happening in the yeah, middle what's act- of her interactions. I and I, I like that. Uh, also, show. there's uh, some titties in this book. But they have some substance to it. Yeah, them. it's not just like <laughs> war goddess titties with substance. It's like yeah. a bonus. It's like, hey, there's this great story, and hey, you guys like boobs? We got those. We got those. I mean, it's unnecessary, but but necessary. Thank you, Williams. Thank you very he much knows, for that. And uh, you know, you know what I love is is Batwoman's all about woman empowerment and stuff, and here we are just talking about boobs. Yeah. Yo, she's. A, yeah, but like at the end of the day, she's a great character. That's true. That I is, find her really character. interesting. I'm excited to see where it goes because Batman uh, comes up to her at the end. and He's yeah, like, I have a proposition. Yeah. Um, I doubt he's going to want to have sex with her because well. Batman is crazy <laughs> and he doesn't doesn't do anything. Like no. he's Batman is fucking nuts. Man. He could have any bone when he wants, but he doesn't want. Mm-hmm. So let him see the curb. <laughs> yeah. So uh, okay. So out of the three books, what do you guys recommend? Batwoman. Yeah. Batwoman. Oh, really? Yeah. Ultimate Spider-Man. Mm. If you're a big fan of 90s comics, I'd say Red Lantern. It feels very 90s, but... That's probably why I don't like it. And God of War, too. I feel like God of War, Red Lantern. He's uh. hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you guys recommend Batwoman? Yeah. Yeah. And I recommend Spider Ultimate Spider-Man, too. Just Anything else this week that you guys recommend? Uh, uh, Frankenstein, Agents of Shade, my yeah, boy, Justin out. Mir. Oh, oh. Batman, Robin comes out. Ooh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That's be cool. Uh, although Grant Morrison isn't writing it, so... Mm. 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 It's the guys who did Green else? Lantern Corps. I love uh, Green Lantern Corps. Tony Bedard. There's what? not Tony Bedard. He did the end of the Green Lantern. Never mind, sorry. I'm <laughs> rambling. <laughs> Anything else that you guys are interested in? Um, not really this no. week. I think. No. Slow week. I think we're done for today. I think so, too. All right, everybody. Uh, check us out on the stadium thing that you are. Like us below. It. Subscribe. Comments. Below, right? They do this in YouTube videos. Uh, we're doing this. Yo, now. you have it in the sub bar, the info. <laughs> check out my related videos on the. Whatever. Check out related videos here. Check out behind the scenes here. Here's yeah. an annotation to a cat like doing weird things. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, we, we need to add that <laughs> yeah. to the video. All right, I guess so. so Kevin added. I think we just explained how much we hated those things. Yeah. So. It doesn't matter. It gets YouTube views. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, guys, check out Red Lantern, Ooh. Spider-Man, and uh, Batwoman. Yeah. And we'll see you next week for episode 15, where uh, we start taking our G1, start learning how to drive a yeah, car. Yeah, you know, you can, you can do it now, so why not? Yeah, that's right. All right, so on three, one, two, three, flavorful, flavorful sauce. sauce.